So tax filers received nearly $320 billion in refunds, but there's some important changes you want to be aware of. Financial professional Mark Triplett from Triplett Westendorf is here to fill us in what you need to know and share some helpful tax planning strategies. Okay, so what changes do people need to be aware of before they file their taxes this year? There are a couple of really big changes I think we need to address right out of the gate. So inflation has, has really been pretty wild, and, and we've talked a lot about that. But that has an impact on the tax brackets. So we get an increase in tax brackets because of the cost of living adjustment, or because the cost of living is, is increased. So uh, tax rates didn't change, but tax brackets did. That means you can earn more income in the same tax bracket and pay the same tax rate. So it, you may find yourself having an increase in income last year, but, spot, but still staying in the same tax bracket. Or if your income didn't increase at all, you may be in a lower tax bracket than you were last year. I would get with a financial professional or your CPA and really figure out what bracket are you in and what's your effective tax rate. And then that can help you determine should you take the standard deduction, which also got a pretty significant increase because of uh, inflation, or should you itemize? Most folks are taking the standard deduction, though. And then with that, how do you lower your tax burden, you know, tax bracket adjustments? What do you even do to d approach that? There are a lot of tax credits that are available, so many that we can't discuss all of them right here, but that's a reason why it's often good to work with a tax planning professional who can tell you what you're eligible for, because that could save you thousands of dollars uh, relative to the maybe you know, a couple hundred that you pay to have a professional do that. And also I'd say it's not too late to contribute to a tax deferred uh, savings plan, like an IRA or something of that nature to lower your taxable income, but that may not result in a tax savings. Tax savings only occurs if when you draw that money out in the future, you're in a lower tax bracket. So deciding whether you should contribute to a pre-tax account or maybe a Roth IRA, which is funded with after-tax money, but then never taxed again, really is going to be kind of a, a game of figuring out where are you today and where you might be in the future. And it is kind of a mindset slash habit shift, right? To think about your taxes, your strategy year round, so it doesn't sneak up on us and then create just a headache of problems you know it's it's it does always feel like the dreaded thing everybody has to do and I know so many people wait till the last minute and then they find themselves filing an extension and it's like unnecessary stress right well there are also there's a shortage of financial or uh, CPAs uh, tax planning professionals in our country so a lot of them are overwhelmed and that's why many folks are finding themselves having to file um, a file uh, an extension because the, they're just not enough uh, professionals to help everybody at one time. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be getting all of your tax documents right now from the, your financial company. Start gathering those and get with the financial professional and your uh, tax professional right away so you can make decisions early rather than waiting the last minute. Yeah, let's not wait till tax day. Thank you so much for being with us today. Very helpful information. We appreciate your time.